Hello, my dear friend. Today we discuss about uh, bedside evaluation of hepatic encephalopathy. Okay, so how can you evaluate a hepatic encephalopathic patient into your bedside? So, at first, what you see, you see the vitals that is pulse BP, GBP, respiratory rate, temperature, urine output, and GCS. So, on condition, you see the heart, you see the heart. And general condition and then the brain condition and uh, assess the uh, central nervous system condition by doing the GCS Glasgow comma score and then you assess the brain function by doing flapping tumor and uh, also number connection test number connection test is nothing but uh, you uh, give the 20 20 number and then count the patient and uh, you know within the it is it will done within 30 second within 30 second in patient can not do it then there is disturbance in his brain so it is called number it is called number counting test number connection test number connection test okay and another thing is construction of apraxia you uh, everybody you everybody knows about about this and it is nothing but uh, you ask the patient to draw a star in normal patient can draw a star, a star like this but uh, in a body cancer the patient you cannot draw a star in a, like like a normal patient uh, also the a clock 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 drawing also so you should assess the patient brain function also the heart vital sign that is pulse bp gpp temperature is pretty rate and uh, another thing is you should ask uh, what is the plantar response of the patient and cerebral is there is any sign of cerebral edema how can you assess the sign of cerebral edema that is a cushing reflex hypertension body cardia and also papal edema but papal edema is a late, late sign it is a rare and late sign so you cannot uh, you cannot expect to find papal edema by doing the pandoscopy and another thing is uh, the people is uh, unequal people unequal but reacting people unequal people but unequal people but reacting people so this is uh, how can you assess the <coughs> cerebral edema and uh, other test uh, also you should uh, take the history of bowel and bladder the regular bowel passing or not at least two times per day should pass in case of it against the patient and uh, you should monitor the fluid balance that is uh, intake and output intake is uh, mainly oral or IV and output is uh, mainly by urine and also uh, the, if the patient present with vomiting and diarrhea you should calculate uh, by assessing that also so <clears throat> this is how you can evaluate a hepatic cancer with the patient so things is very easy you should uh, assess the normal general condition and then the brain function brain function by doing flapping tumor test a number counting test number connection test and also the constructional apraxia and also the gcs and uh, other test you can do to see the vital sign there is the urine output and intake and the um, uh, bowel passing or not and a sign of cerebral edema it includes in the brain function and also there is level of jaundice level of jaundice you should ask about the uh, jaundice and uh, examine that so this is uh, how can you can do a uh, bedside test or bedside evaluation of hepatic encephalopathy patient. So thank you my dear friend for your patient here.